Hello, the internet. It is Sunday, the 25th of September, 2016. Day two at our fantastic Rockies experience. This morning, we're put on, putting on our smiling faces and happy faces. Even though the weather's a little bit um, we're gonna go and have a look at the creek. Got an iPod in my pocket, which is probably not the safest thing to do with something in your pocket like this. The big, oh, I can't do it, I'm a chicken. I didn't know you that. Oh my God, my foot's stuck. This is amazing. Wait, wait, wait. No. Oh, 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 oh. Ow, ow, ow. Wait, wait, I got it, I got it. Got it, finally! These kids are stupid. I'll just do this. And open the gate. This here is not the uh, Rockies Creek that the brochure talks about. It says come and find the platypus and wade through the creek. This is not it, that's way down there. The water's really nice and clear here and it goes all the way up the mountain. We're gonna take a walk and see how far up we can go. Although we might get rain, but we're gonna go and have a look anyway. The water is so clear. Nice bit of country right here. Shame about the arm weather. Good throw. How far up do you wanna go? to the edge of the earth. Let's go until it gets dense. There might be a waterfall. You think you can get that rock into that, into that pond? Yeah. From there? Yeah. All right, go for gold, man. Done. I guess he's got a good throwing arm. In this particular spot here, the jungle, the forest, the woods, the bush, whatever you call it, wherever you are in the world, has become really dense and the creek continues to go along here. This also might be a great time to show you a new product from Joby. Mind you, this is not a new product from Joby. It's a new product for me from Joby. This is my new phone. It's an iPhone uh, 7 Plus. It now shoots 4K, so I can shoot time lapses on here. The only trouble with that is how do you hold the camera in position? Let me show you what Joby gave me. This is from Joby. It comes in two parts. Something you've been familiar familiar with, which is holding my camera up right now, a smaller one. And this little doozy that slides into it, locks onto it, and then, this is the best part about it, fits like this, stretches, so my iPhone fits in, and bam, you have a position holder to set it up anywhere for a time lapse, and so now I can shoot 4K on this. I'm damn well gonna do that. There's a massive mosquito right here. Joby, thank you very much for this. I'm gonna do a time lapse on it right now on the iPhone using this new mini Gorilla Pod. I think it's a mini Gorilla Pod. I should have checked the wrapper. I'm gonna do it here. It's gonna be like this, pretty much like that. Get that guy in. Okay, that's my time lapse spot there. So that is my time lapse happening now. If anyone wants to know how I'm doing this time lapse, I don't use the time lapse feature on the iPhone. I just shoot video and speed it up in post. Now I'll probably only shoot maybe I don't know, 10 minutes of footage here because there's not a lot of change happening aside from the water. Can't really see the sky. But it looks great on that angle, and I wouldn't be able to get that position without the Joby Mini Gorilla Pod sitting right there in the water, it's great! Yeah! That is actually so cool. Endorsement from a young man. Baxter, what did you just say? Pretty cool. You nice. like it? Yes. While that does its time lapse, what else would I do while you're waiting in nature for a time lapse? Have a Dutch beer. And look for frogs. And look for frogs, let's look for frogs. Good idea. We're talking about finding a frog and I've just happened to find a cracker. Look at this guy. Isn't this guy so, so rad? Do you guys want to have a hold? But yeah. I think he's pretty keen to get out of here, so. You happy, man? Yeah. What a cool frog. We should let him go, right? Yeah. What do you want to put him? him? Oh, you want to hold him, Claudia? Yeah, I changed my mind. Okay, give me your phone and go down to the creek and wet your hands. You all right? <laughs> okay, now, now, hang on, hang on. Let him go, let him go, let him go. <laughs> I'm so bad. He wants to, he's gone. Goodbye, my I friend. can see him. So that was a really interesting 
bullfrog and now we have just a regular little common froglet these guys are a dime a dozen in this area check this guy just a little regular cobber do i wet my hands yeah wet your hands get your hands a bit wetter here you go man this one's for you <laughs> oh is there two no there's only one holy gee whackers we cool we jumped at the camera Pretty sweet, huh? Hey, hey. Oh, gee, whack it! You gotta pick up quick. My birthday present is a little frog. Woo! Hello! See how much pleasure frogs bring to people? They're so cute. They're so cool. They're everywhere. They're all over this place. There'd be a hundred different species. Maybe not a hundred, maybe only 20. I want to find them all. I'm, look I'm looking for the laughing frog, the cackling frog. We heard them at night. They've got to be here somewhere. We're pulling pulling our bark off the edge of the trees. <laughs> We're finding spiders, but no cackling frogs. That is our beautiful huntsman, a white, I'm gonna call it a white and brown huntsman because it's white and brown. How nice is that spider? Yeah, cool, right? Yeah? yeah? I like him, I like a good huntsman and there's heaps of them. Now, who came through first? Me. Then that means this is yours. Pick, uh, no. pick that up. Caught you through that. Did you really? I put it over here so I could get under. Okay, fair enough. One thing I hate is littering. I'm trying to get these kids into the idea of not littering. If you litter, I'll punch you in the head. Through the magic of time teleportation and fast forwarding, we got all this firewood. We are gonna set a bonfire here, probably not for tonight. It's probably too uh, sketchy the weather, but at least we build it and then we can light it maybe tomorrow night. There's a gully here, right? All the way down, that winds its way down. Up there, there's just a whole hill. That's a whole hill and it's all wet. Look at this, there's just water everywhere seeping. And that water is the beginning of a creek. In I don't know much about this stuff, but I'm using logic. Look, this is the beginning of a creek right here. Look at all that water. Look at that groundwater. Claudia, that is actually water coming out of the ground. That's the beginning of a stream. If we head that way, down the gully, that'll I think that'll eventually be a creek. And there'll probably be a lot of frogs and a lot of cool stuff. We've only gone like five meters and it's already flowing. Yep, that's a creek. Water. Before there was none, now there's some. Just when you think you've uh, had enough and you're gonna head back, <laughs> You come across a turtle. This guy's obviously going from probably one pond up to the, the next one. He's just chilling here. He's he spotted me, but pretty easy to pick up these guys. Look at that. What a beauty, Nuke. Hello. How are you going? You stink. These things stink. I just need to jump in here while I'm editing and put a little pause right there where I said the um, turtle stinks. Since that happened on Sunday, what is it now? It's Friday. Since Sunday, I have had the worst case of salmonella and I've nailed it down to coming from that turtle. I met the turtle on the Sunday. Tuesday, I started feeling ill really, really quickly. Like within the case of a half an hour, I went from normal to completely and utterly. I couldn't drive. Mum had to take over the driving. I ended up sleeping in the car on the way home. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, all I've done is make milkshakes from my bottom. I forgot what a, a solid nugget feels like. Sorry to be crass, but that's the reality of it. I got salmonella poisoning from a turtle, mustard milkshakes for the last three and a half days, pretty much been bed bound the whole time. I'm I'm either hot or I'm cold. I can't work it out. I'm, I'm cold, then I'm hot, then I'm cold, then I'm hot. He needs more blankets and he needs less blankets. After that goo from the turtle was all over my hand, obviously I touched my face with it and that's how this happened. They always say that if you're telling a story, show a story. Here's a small montage of my last three days. It hasn't been fun. If you're gonna handle a live turtle in the wild, just wash your hands afterwards. Don't put it anywhere near your face. Don't be um like I was. Now, back to editing this vlog. You stink. Oh, dude, you absolutely, he absolutely reeks, man. You're a beauty though. 
the kids are gonna love this. Let's take it up and then we'll bring it back and release it. Might not be a laughing frog, but it's a turtle. Ah, oh, he's peeing on me. I guess I did lift him out of his own habitat. We'll just put him back for a second. There you go, Cobber. I found a really flat, really smelly rock. You just said to mum, turtles, they fart when they get really nervous, don't they? Dude, turtles? this thing stinks. Oh. Absolutely stinks. Mm. Yeah, it stinks, doesn't it? Turtles are great, but they stink. It's time to let this guy go back into Stinksville. That's for you in there, dude. There you go. He'll probably sit there for a while until he knows it's safe. And then his little nugget head will come out and off he'll go. He'll be a bit spun out though because, and these birds aren't happy. He'll be a bit spun out because he started off his journey like a kilometre downstream and all of a sudden, there his head's out now, all of a sudden he's found himself at the top of the stream. So the kids are all in there just relaxing inside after eating. I was just gonna come out and check on my frog situation and would you believe it? I've found myself a cackling frog, not down by the creek where we were, not up by the stream where we were, but on the wall of the house, right around here. Let's go and have a look at it. Oh, that's um, we're out of time. Oh, hey, thanks for checking out Gives A Minute. My YouTube channel, it's the one you just watched. If you liked it, perhaps you'd like to check out the previous minute, a random minute, or even the very first minute. Now, if you're a photographer like I am, you might get a kick out of my Lightroom 6 presets. And you can also subscribe to my channel and check out all the other social crap. You know you want to. Even longer pause this time. See you later.